this month. Oh. Uh, it's your choice, Nadia, and you chose Serena. I did. Serena by Mom Rush. I didn't actually, actually, the producer was asking me why I chose this. I didn't actually. My, my mother in law is a librarian. Every year she gives me books. Okay. And I would ne and what I love about this book, I would never have chosen this book. That's the joy um, of a book club. Yeah. Isn't it? And, um, and my husband read it first and then I read it and I absolutely loved it. It's got all the themes that anybody wants in a book. It's got murder, intrigue, passion, hate, obsessive love, unwanted pregnancy. And the most important thing for me. In my book. diary. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing for me in a book, I've discovered as I look back over the books that I've truly loved in my life, the female protagonist always has to be evil. It's not my diary. A stratospheric <laughs> level. Yeah. And that's why I love this book. I also love it because I think it's really beautifully written. There's a lot of prose. It's, it, a lot of it's quite poetic, I think. Yeah. So, so you've got all of that passion and drama, but you've also got great writing. Actually, see, uh, Serena, the subject of the book, uh, she started off for me as a really, really... She's a very strong person. And I got a very vivid picture because he writes in a very vivid, descriptive yeah. way, as you yeah. say, quite poetic. So I got great, great re uh, vision of her, and she is so strong. I mean, she'd do anything. She'll shoot a bear between the two eyes. You know, she is a rough, tough woman in a tree-felling environment. So in this sort of forest felling uh, mm. stuff. So it's a tough world. The only thing I felt was, going back on your poetic stuff, OK, when there's a character in the book called Rachel, a young girl carrying her baby, they're both sick, and she's trudging through mud and stones barefoot, trying to get the child to the doctor. And all the writer is talking about, well, it was a bright starry night, you could get a pocket mm. of That's good stars. writing. No, hang, was... on. no, hang on a second. It's very, it's very oh, annoyed with you, Gloria. No, 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 <laughs> but it's, I'm trying to explain how it, the descriptive aspect of it and the number of adjectives he uses per sentence sometimes drove me nuts because I think, I only want to know, did the child live, did she get to the doctor? Mm. But then why not watch own. telly? <clears throat> That's just disposable no, story, just really quick. Point. I, I think no, useful the writing... He, when, you're when, losing the point because he, he has published three poetry books. Now I get it as to why he's so poetic. Mm. But for me, I mean, they're all different in yeah. how we perceive yeah. the book. But I've for just, me, I just there are many storylines where <laughs> I want to get to the story. I want to know what happened in the story. I can only conclude that your mother-in-law is trying to tell you something. <laughs> why? <laughs> I'm actually really upset. Oh, don't be upset. Oh, I really love this book. No, I, I, ju it ju I, I mean, it's, we all have types of books that we like, and, and, and I guess the bottom line is it's just not my cup of tea. Yeah, yeah. Um, that there's, there's, it, it's quite intense on the characters that it has, but I like. It, it, it's sort of like a, a country. It, it's sort of like a wild west book to me. Um, and I've read a couple of sort of cowboy books, like How the West Was Won, and it was. It's very rich with characters and plot. This was a bit too descriptive there weren't that for many me. Characters, isn't it? There weren't many characters. Mm -hmm. They're not terribly engaging Didn't need too many as characters. And as I say, it's like how many times can you describe a log? Before. It's not the <laughs> log, it's about the terrible suffering and what, what those there men have to endure in But that he does spend community. pages describing it, pages and pages and pages describing the same scenario. That's my mm. opinion. But, I, but I, pick, I didn't like but it. But picking up on, on mm. what you said, and I agree with you, I like a, I like a book with a good, strong, central character. And, and especially, there's, there's something... For example, I, I really enjoy Brett Easton Ellis, uh, American Psycho, and that's that's a particularly gruesome read, which you wouldn't necessarily expect someone like me to enjoy, but but I did. Um, but one of the things I think that I felt most uncomfortable with was the fact that the the female in this book, Serena, she's a psychopath, and there's something about the fact that if it's a male psychopath, you can almost go along with it, but if it's a female, oh. it makes you sit, well, it makes you no, feel a little bit a, uncomfortable. A, a, a woman's evil is seen as ten times that's worse right. than a man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And when they made this into a Hollywood movie, I was just horrified in that they took out half the evil. It was like, why? Why can? Why Do you think the women... fact that she is a psychopath is is key to the whole book, and that they they spoiled it's... it with a film? But Hollywood, Everything. Hollywood does whitewash it, doesn't it? It does whitewash it. But, no, but I think as a society, mm. we don't like it. We don't like you know a female paedophile is somehow worse than a male paedophile. They're not. It's, it's because, the same. It's a because women a murdering psychopath, whether they're male or female, it's the same. It's because women, well, by their very nature, are, are supposed, supposed to, to be nurturing. nurturing and caring. But even if you take a you know a high flying um, position in a, banker in an office, the woman has to be tough to stay at the top compared to a lot of her male counterparts. It's one of the old 
problems. Well, no, I think it? a man would have to be tough as well. It's just that it's highlighted for women's tough as something negative. I think to be in any position of power, you have to be tough, you <clears> have to be driven, yeah. and you have to have a ruthless streak. It's just that when it's a woman, it's described as something negative, often, not always. No, I agree and with and when, you. with a man, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just it's drive and ambition. No, but then, um, I mean, in this book, she is without giving the plot away, mm. she is truly psychopathic. It's not just a, mm. she's not just showing psychopathic tendencies. It's kind of like American Psycho with logs. <laughs> In a way. That, that sums it up. And that kind of sums it up. Oh, but don't, don't be upset, don't yeah. be upset. It's like you don't like one of my family. <laughs>